What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel. And today we're going to be unpacking everything we saw at San Diego Comic Con 2024 preview night. All right, guys, so I'll be honest. This San Diego Comic-Con preview night was insane. It was packed with stuff, way more reveals than we're actually used to on preview night. Uh, usually, it's just a couple little things to get us excited. This was a ton, but I will say as far as WWE Mattel is concerned, there was a lot of re-releases shown. Um, but we are going to start off with AEW Jazzwares. They had this beautiful display of a mountain where all the figures were climbing and at the top with some belts. I saw a lot of people commenting, give us the mountain, but look at the size of this thing. Very cool. Now, the majority of stuff that was on this mountain are re-releases, right? But it looks great. And you really had to pay attention to get all of the stuff that was new. But I have, um, you know, secluded some pictures and we're going to focus on exactly everything that is new. And first up is now a hard copy of the J. White Ringside Collectibles exclusive, which looks great. Um, I think the head looks just like him. Obviously, not as much detail as WWE Mattel, but it does look very good. And the red really pops. We got unmatched series 10 shown off. We've seen renders of these. Uh, they are up for pre-order, but here is. Kyle O'Reilly. This is his main line, uh, first time in a line release. However, his quote unquote first Jazzwares figure was in the Ring of Honor line. Uh, it looks pretty good. I think it looks like him. A little something different going on with the lips, but you know, it, it, as far as gear, it's not the most Toyetic gear, but he doesn't really wear anything crazy Toyetic. Uh, this was mistakenly said to be the Chase variant initially on Ringside site, but this is the standard edition Adam Cole from Unmatched Series 10. And he does come with the Owen Hart Championship, which I think is awesome. Uh, it just, it really pops. I think it's really, it's it's the star of this figure, in my opinion. We got new bucks coming. Matt Jackson in the orange with the kicks. New head sculpt. And Nick Jackson there. Uh, we need more heel bucks. I mean, I, I would love something with a full body uh, entrance gear and stuff like that. Something very, very toyetic. The orange isn't exactly what I was thinking, but I, I do think it looks good. Um, Kenny Omega from Unmatched 10 in the blue and the black. I believe this was from his match with Danielson. And here we have Adam Copeland, which, man, this looks great. I love the vest. I love the gear. But look at that head sculpt. That is a very good head sculpt that they did. It looks just like him. And, of course, the chase, Brandon Cutler, which this is a must-have for me. Check out the unique hand holding the spray paint can. I am so excited for this. The, the suit looks awesome. Look at the sneakers and the face mask. This is an incredible figure. I cannot wait to get this. It's a shame that it's it's a limited one. We also saw Takeshita, which you can see right here. Um, the, again, hidden in the mix. Uh, this is from, I want to say, Unrivaled 16. And then Julia Hart, also from Unrivaled 16. I think these look pretty good. The head on Takesha can use a little work, but look at the gear on Julia with the heart right in the center. Very, very cool. Uh, Orange Cassidy in the black, which is really cool, and the denim jacket. Check out. He's got a working backpack that you can put the championship title in. The zipper on that thing is huge, but, I mean, what do you expect? It, it is tough to get a an actual zipper on a small miniature scale item. Austin Gunn. This is one I'm excited for. The guns are still coming. Unrivaled 16, Austin Gun, and hopefully we see Colton Gun at some point uh, this weekend. And of course, the upcoming Jazzwares Vault exclusive Ring of Honor, Jay Briscoe, Mark Briscoe. These are incredible. They come with the dog collars, they come with the entrance jackets, the Ring of Honor titles, interchangeable hands. These might be, in my opinion, the best Ring of Honor figures that Jazzwares put out. And I don't mean might, I mean they are. These look incredible. 
Um, very, very well done. I've been waiting for Briscoe's, but look at that Mark Briscoe head sculpt. Look at the Jamin. It looks so good. These are a must have for me. Uh, we also saw a ringside collectibles exclusive Jay lethal. The black machismo is coming. This is not something that I saw coming. So I'm excited for this. I think it looks great. Um, I'm wondering. Should I make Fig Vault get this for his Macho Man Completist uh, collection? It, it kind of would work. It kind of would work. Uh, love Jay Lethal, especially when he did the Black Machismo. Uh, we also saw some main event figures. Uh, I didn't really pay attention to which series these were from, but we have a new Randy Orton and a new Cody Rhodes. I'm a, I don't know if this is going to be a two pack or what, but the way that it's positioned, it kind of appears that way, but I don't know. I feel like these are going to be main lines. Uh, there is Jay Uso versus solo Sokoa. He's got the yeet shirt on. He's giving him that kick, which I love the fact that now basics can actually do a super kick. How, how awesome is that? What a world, what a time to be alive. And here we have RVD versus Batista. Now these are both of these are direct re-releases. We've gotten these before, right? Uh, I believe that Batista was supposed to be in the WrestleMania 40 basics, but that RVD was a superstar uh, entrances Walmart exclusive uh, with the shirt. But I, I mean, it's interesting. They would re-release this one of all figures, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. It's got a cool RVD shirt and the colors on the singlet pretty much pop. So we got Roman versus Cody right here. The greatness shirt. Very cool. I love this Stone Cold Steve Austin in the background that you can see. I've been waiting for this 100% pure Rattlesnake shirt for a very long time. I wanted it in elite form, but it is what it is. You'll also notice the uh, Hulk Hogan back there and the Mean Gene. Uh, they're going to be a two-pack in the championship showdown set. I was hoping for Mean Gene to be in the Hulkamania and Hulk to be in the Mean gene mania but... It looks like uh, it's just Hulk in the Mean Gene Mania shirt, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, we also saw Ricky Steamboat here. There's a couple Ricky Steamboats on the display, which makes me believe that it's got to be a Chase variant as well as the uh, Mr. Perfect. So this is the white trunks, and honestly, this pops. The, the torso mold they use for Ricky here is perfect for him in his heyday. My man had a physique. Uh here we have L.A. Knight and A.J. Styles uh, coming back to the line, L.A. Knight. This is his first figure, the chase, but I believe that it's getting re-released. We've got Liv Morgan versus Rhea Ripley, uh, and Rhea Ripley is completely covered head to toe. I don't know if this is from a Saudi show or not, but there is the Liv Morgan. New leg molds. Looks pretty awesome, uh, but I'll probably be passing on these as far as the women's uh, main events. I'll probably be going for elites on these. We got the Brett the Hitman Heart inspired gear of CM Punk. Another re-release. And here's the, the steamboat I was talking about that makes me believe that it was a chase. This is the red tights with the black boots. And you'll notice he is hip tossing uh, Mr. Perfect in the black and orange singlet, which we have gotten before in elite form. And there is a blue singlet, Mr. Perfect, off to the side, as you can see. And these, I believe, are Series 150 of the CM Punk and Lita, which we've already seen. And this is a better shot of that uh, main event showdown, Mean Gene Oakland. Uh, I would have preferred, a, you know, a different style of Mean Gene, but I get it. Like, they're, they're getting announcers in the line, so I, I, you can't complain about it. Here's another shot of the entire setup. Very, very cool. Well done. Really digging it. You can notice uh, a new rock there. John Cena. Uh, I think that's a new CM Punk as well, which is uh, exciting. CM Punk is back in the fold, and he, you knew he was going to get a ton of figures uh, this year. But you'll notice that they have the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Defining Moments Kane Flames on the turnbuckles. Next up, we've got Elite Series 113. You'll notice Kofi Kingston here to match the Xavier Woods from 112. And Trick Williams, which he's absolutely jacked here. A little too jacked, but the head sculpt looks excellent. Check that out. He's got the choker on, removable sunglasses, very well done, but I think he's a little too jacked for the figure. But the it pops. 
We got Dragon Lee, which again is awesome. A lot of white in this series, I noticed. Tiff's got white. Uh, Trick's got white. Dragon Lee. Carlito. A lot of uh, white gear, which is interesting. You don't see that too often in one series. Uh, but he's got the entrance gear, the entrance jacket. Absolutely pops. Great first time in a line figure. We got Carlito, his first elite, and it's going to have a chase. The standard edition, I believe, is the purple, and then the white is the chase variant. Or no, it's I think it's backwards, actually. I think the chase variant is the uh, purple. But there is the – he comes with a T-shirt. He comes with an apple hand holding the apple, which is perfect. Uh, unique hand molds are always exciting to me. And CM Punk, we are getting the Macho Man Randy Savage inspired gear CM Punk from the Battle Pack with Macho Man Randy Savage in elite form, which I think is a nice touch. I'm glad they didn't just re-release it as a main event with new leg articulation. I'm glad we're getting full articulation on this re-release of the CM Punk. We also saw Tiffany Stratton, which I don't think the head's great. I do not think this head is great. I think that the basic was a little bit better, but... She's got that Barbie-inspired gear. She's got the cowboy hat. It's very toyetic. To me, this is a must. She is a star, and she's going to be an even bigger star, I believe, uh, as time goes on. We saw some Greatest Hits figures, and Natalia is in the Greatest Hits. I don't think both of these figures were released. It's got the paws out, claws out shirt. I don't think either of them were released, I mean. Uh, I love the little uh, cat ear buns on top of the head and the unique different gear. It's good to see Natty getting figures in the uh, Elite line again. Uh, uh, John Cena right here. This was released, I want to say, in the 20s. I want to say uh, Elite Series 21, 22. Never give up blue shirt. This To me, this is like a, de a definitive John Cena gear. Like He wore this for so long and had so many figures in this gear that like th this is worthy of being re-released. Uh, re it's a, definitely a greatest hits figure. Uh, this is an awesome one. King Sheamus. This is so cool. I can't believe that they're releasing this, but... Um, you know, you got a lot of unique molds here as far as the the cane and the crown that he had. So I do have this, but I don't have the crown. So I'm definitely going to be picking up the greatest hits. And we saw from the vault series three, which is going to have defining moments. Uh, Shawn Michaels, this is a really rare figure. So a lot of people who own it, like myself, I'm sure aren't going to be happy that's getting re-released. But, you know, that's the world that we live in. You kind of got to expect it. With Mattel, I wouldn't really buy for value anymore. I, I would kind of like just buy what you like. Uh, also in this set is going to be up yep, Ringside Collectibles exclusive, Straight Edge Society CM Punk. I've been saying this for a long time that this is definitely coming, and I expected to see this at SDCC. We've got Hollywood Hulk Hogan back in the fold, re-release. Um, this is for From the Vault Series 3. And then Yokozuna is going to be back in it. We have the black with the red sarong. And there's going to be a chase variant of the white with the red sarong. So uh, two Yokozunas in this set. A chase variant, which is interesting for an exclusive from the vault line. And there they all are uh, in one. A lot of these pictures come from different places. Ringside Collectibles. Uh, Ringside Collectibles. My Damn Toys uh, contributed a few. Case Fresh Podcast. Fig Vault. And of course, myself. Here we have Target exclusive Legends 24 Hulk Hogan in that unique Hulk Hogan shirt that I don't think has ever been in figure form with a new head sculpt. You'll see that there is two Farouks so that he is the chase variant in series 24. I do like this purple accented gear that he has on and also the uh, leather jacket. We have a new Kurt Angle in the shorts with the uh, It's True, It's True t-shirt and his medals. I think Kurt is definitely deserving of being in the uh, Legends line. There's the leather jacket on Mr. Farouk, as we were talking about. We saw these at WrestleMania. And here is the Jim Neidhart slash Who figure, which I'm so excited for this. This is the one I'm re I really cannot wait to get in this set. We also saw Legends 25. And here we have Psycho Sid returning to the line with a new head sculpt. And this head sculpt blows the original one away so i'm excited to get another psycho sid we've got rick rude behind him who is going to be the standard and chase variant there's the black tights which is awesome i think that is the chase and he also has a standard edition right here the wcw one but check this out he's got a new retooled big gold belt and it's absolutely beautiful 
this is the star of this figure, in my opinion. But I'm glad that they're getting uh, use out of that short hair stashed Rick Rude head sculpt because it, it really nails the appearance. We're getting an all pink WWF champion, Bret the Hitman Hart in Series 25. And my favorite, Justin Hawk Bradshaw. This is so cool. I'm a BCA kid. I am a, a lover of the new gen era, the Attitude Era, and Bradshaw as a whole, JBL. So I'm loving the fact that this is going to be making its way into the line. This is the one I'm so excited about for Legend Series 25. But those Rick Roods are also very, very nice figures. We also saw some new Walmart exclusive Monday Night War figures. Uh, a huge display of them, and we're going to unpack what we have here. So first up is Monday Night Wars Series 5. We already saw them uh, earlier this week. We got Lita, we've got Razor Ramon, we've got Kurt Hennig, and then there's two sixes. We didn't realize. One is a chase, so there is one in just the black and gold, and then there's a re-release of that flashback with the new head sculpt, which, man, it looks great. And it is going to have a Build-A-Figure NWO Dusty Rhodes. I think the head is awesome with the hat, the sunglasses. I'm excited about this figure. I'm. This is a series of, NW, of Monday Night Wars that I'm definitely going to have to unbox and uh, build the figure and have a mint on card and loose. We also saw the rest of Greatest Hits Monday Night War figures. So here is the Triple H from Best of Attitude Era Amazon exclusive. Here is the black tights with the uh, silver hearts HBK. This has been released a couple times. Uh, we have the Legends. I want to say it's 11, Legends 11, Bam Bam Bigelow uh, being re-released here in the greatest hits. And the Hall of Champions, Eddie Guerrero. I'm glad they're getting use out of that head sculpt. I would like to see him be a chase. Give Eddie a, another singlet. Well, you know, we would love to see it. And he's got that uh, US title with him, uh, WCW, which is pretty cool. And there they all are together. When you have all four, you can build NWO Vincent. I love this, that the builder figures are becoming NWO, uh, you know, deep cuts. We're talking Disciple. We're talking Dusty. We're talking Vincent. Now, is Dusty a deep cut? No, no. But but NWO Dusty is, you know, not Dusty as a whole, but that, that character absolutely was a deep cut. So very cool to see it happen. Next up. Royal Rumble Elites, which, um, you know, I broke the news on these on my Instagram at Fig Hill, if you're not following. And it's going to feature the Hurricane, which I love this Hurricane. Um, I think the head on it's great. Hulk Hogan, or as I like to call him, uh, you know, <laughs> Flasher Terry, uh, I, you know, Peekaboo Terry. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, it looks like a, a naked Hulk Hogan in boots, but he comes with that Hulkamania will live forever banner. So you got to assume he's just going to be in the yellow and red. Uh, we hope. Moving on, Diesel. I love this Diesel, right? The black pants, the uh, grayish singlet top with the Diesel logo. This head, though, is not my favorite Kevin Nash head, but I guess it works for this. It's really not my favorite. I wish they would have went with something else. And as you can see, there is Cody Rhodes, which is beautiful in the red, white, and blue. Very toyetic. And behind him is the Build-A-Figure. We are finally getting an elite great Kali. And honestly, I think the tooling on it's awesome. I'm shocked that they did it. I'm happy they did it. For years, Bill McKenna said that they would not do a great Kali because uh, he said, great Kali does not have elite articulation in real life, so why would his figure? Which, you know, it's a stiff remark, but he's finally getting an elite. Then we saw WrestleMania 41 Elite Collection, which is going to have Seth Rollins in the pink, which is really nice. This Bianca Belair, which I love with the Hollywood Walk of Fame gear. It absolutely pops. So much beautiful sculpting and molding here. Uh, I'm not crazy about the head sculpt, but I can live with it considering that the gear is so toyetic and, and they really captured it very, very well. Re-release of the Hulk Hogan. I believe this was Series 34, I want to say in the elite collection. Um, but it comes with a cloth goods shirt as opposed to the rubber goods. The build a figure is going to be the think back there that you see, which we've already gotten a build a figure thing. So it's a little disappointing, a little disappointing. I was hoping for a new build a figure. It may be like a referee or some other kind of behind the scenes character that we haven't had yet. And here's the packaging, which is beautiful. Bret Hart. Uh, I believe this is WrestleMania four. And 
that singlet, man, that just pops. I don't think we've ever gotten that in figure form, so I'm super excited for this, Brett. We also saw the made-to-order CM Punk, which is supposed to be coming in the spring of 2025. These pre-orders are over, but I'm sure that they will have some on WWE Shop and Ringside Collectibles if you missed out. We got the Mattel Creations Imperium 2-pack coming soon. They're going to have their entrance jackets as well as um, a Ludwig Kaiser and Imperium t-shirt for them to wear. Uh, very, very cool. I definitely have to pick this up, especially since people say that I look like Ludwig Kaiser. The headbangers has been a huge want for me for a very, very, very long time. Uh, I might be getting two sets of these. They look incredible. I love that they come with the tag titles. I love the shirts. I love the skirts. <sighs> Chef's kiss, both head sculpts, incredible. Thank you, Mattel, for giving us these uh, headbanger elites. Also, Dudley Boys, ECW, Dudley Boys. I love these with the tag titles, the ECW tag titles, the glasses, the new head sculpts. The tie dye on, on the on the cloth good shirt isn't bad either. I love the Devon. Just thank you so much. But the coolest thing about this is we saw them in pack and look at that. The matching box for the Bubba Ray and Devon. Wow. Very, very cool. I'm so excited for this. And they do come with tables. We got the Samoan Dynasty three pack of Afa Sika and Roman Reigns from Hell in a Cell 2020. And on the Case Rush podcast, I said that these are going to come, you know, in modern day often Sika in the box. And I was right. So those old school heads are just kind of a bonus. You know, these aren't really meant to be old school uh, wild Samoans. It's meant to be the modern day. And honestly, I think it looks great in the package. I love the My Via Legacy. So I'm super excited about this one. These uh, generation three packs are so cool to me and, and a must have. And I like how they all come with three different uh, lays that they wear. There's going to be a Target exclusive Evolution 3-pack of Randy Orton, Batista, and Triple H uh, depicting that, that thumbs up, thumbs down uh, heel turn. Uh, very, very cool, but uh, I don't know how I feel about that uh, the cloth, good shirt, and tie. I did not like it on the Muhammad Ali in the Territory 4-pack. I do not like it on this Triple H, and that head is a little odd as well. Uh I like the messy hair. Dave looks cool. Same with the, the young Randy Orton head. This is a must get for me. I'm curious how it's going to be packaged. I think they could do a really cool packaging design, uh, you know, but only time will tell. Definitely picking this up. Love evolution. And I love that gear on uh, Batista. That's like my favorite gear that he wore. So definitely picking this one up. Also saw the WrestleMania 12 SEC exclusive Shawn Michaels that we've seen before, but they had a nice display of him on the zip line and we are getting an ultimate edition raw ring but it's going to come with an ultimate edition Rhea Ripley a lot of people have been waiting for this she comes an interchangeable head I think it looks great she comes with the new women's world title and look at that man look at the deco hits look at the tattoos and the fishnets she's got the rag hanging man this is a great figure I think this figure alone is going to sell many, many rings for uh, Mattel. I can't say I'm going to pick it up because I don't need another ring, but very well done. Another main event, Jay Uso coming in the black. And for Ultimate Edition 23, we saw the LA Knight. Uh, not a big LA Knight guy. He comes with all of his interchangeable hands. He comes with a cloth good shirt, his entrance vest, glasses, microphone, you know, the whole kit and caboodle. But this is going to be a hot seller. He is a hot ticket item. The heads, though, I don't know, man. They don't get his head right. He's one of those guys like Brett. They just don't get it right. Like this middle head right here. Ugh. What's with that mouth? But I'm excited for WrestleMania 39, Ray and Dominic Mysterio. The Ray is awesome in that like Muda-inspired gear. I'm sorry, Muda-inspired mask. The red and yellow really pops. All the tattoos are there. It's about time we get a mainline Ray Mysterio. And it's modern day. It's it's a shame that it's it's not like evergreen, something that you know he wears a lot, but it's still very cool. And there's Dominic Mysterio. This is the one I'm super excited about. He comes with the Rey Mysterio mask head, which is great. All the tattoos on the arms that really pop. A new head, and he comes with the uh, handcuffs. You know when he came in his entrance, which is very cool. This is a must have for me. I cannot wait to open this up. This is an absolute must. Uh, and next we saw, 
Uh, Ultimate Edition Series 24, the Bray Wyatt from the Mountain Dew match. And they did not have the additional head there, but there is going to be additional head, additional arms and stuff like that without the black light. I'm sure we'll see that, uh, you know, Thursday, Friday. Who knows? And we had a prototype test shot of the great Muda, which is looking great. I'm hoping that we see a finalized version of this uh, at SDCC at some point as well. Sometimes they do that. They'll tease us with a uh, prototype and then they'll really shock us with the uh, final version. We saw fan takeover Seth Rollins, which is available now on Amazon. You can go to heel deal heels deals.com, which is H E E L S D E A L Z.com. And uh, it's right up there. If you want a quick way to get that beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm shocked it took this long for us to get it. Um, but it was worth it. This is, this is one of my favorite gears at Seth war in this, uh, modern era. Also, Amazon exclusive, Greatest Grudges 92, Ultimate Warrior versus Papa Shango, Ultimate Edition 2-pack available on Amazon.com, or you can go to HeelsDeals.com, like I said, H-E-E-L-S-D-E-A-L-Z.com, and pick it up today for $74.99. They look great. I love that he has the merch jacket. I knew a kid who had this and still has it to this day and wears it. Uh, very cool and unique. Uh, I'd never thought that we would see that on an action figure. The heads look great. We even have the black oozing head for Ultimate Warrior. Papa Shango getting an ultimate. Another one. Awesome. He's going to have the skulls. He's going to have the hat. He's going to have the cape. This is the first time I think they're getting the cape on a uh, six-inch scale figure as well as the bone necklace. Three interchangeable heads, and I think they all look great. Can't really go wrong with face paint on somebody, but man, like this really captured everything about shango so super stoked for these i already pre-ordered my set there's the back of the boxes there they are really unpacked with everything they come with and there's a nice shot of papa shango on display at sdcc with everything on him and there's the additional heads <laughs> there's a warrior holding his head he doesn't understand what the black stuff is coming out of him he's got the merch jacket on and there's the additional heads so these these are super exciting Legends Target exclusive Dusty Rhodes is coming. Two interchangeable, three interchangeable heads. He's got the headband. He's got the police hat, the baton, and the polka dot. This is, to me, this is a definitive uh, Dusty Rhodes. I don't think there's one definitive Dusty Rhodes, but this is one of them. You know, uh, the police hat and baton are just extra, just extra. So I'm stoked to be getting this uh, Dusty. Monday Night War ultimates are going to be quarterly one at a time instead of two in a series twice a year so first is going to be triple h uh game over t-shirt that he has back there interchangeable heads this is not monday night war uh triple h that i think of but you know it's nice it is what it is and after that is going to be i believe this is episode 100 <sighs> Lex Luger when he wins the title, which I suggested on the Case Rush podcast a couple weeks ago. I was like, you know, they could do that. But then I said, nah, never mind. What would he come with? And you're looking at it. He wouldn't really come with much, but he's come with both belts, the big gold and the NWO big gold, two interchangeable heads. I'm sorry, three interchangeable heads, which the screaming head is awesome for flexing. Like the way they have him flexed and posed, that's how I would do it. And there's the additional heads, which, you know, it all looks good. It looks good. It's just there's not too much like entrance gear or anything that he can come with. And it looks like he's got like a purple towel. It looked like uh, there's going to be an exclusive Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan. You know, we are getting a lot of Hulks. He's got it looks like it's like in a, a new weight belt that has his name embossed in it. It appears he's got three additional two additional heads as, as far as the um, head sculpts. He's got the Boas and the Undisputed Championship. It looks great. I don't know where this is going to be exclusive to. Maybe ringside. Um, man, I know a lot of people are going to be crying about all these Hogans, but it is what it is, right? And then we also saw Brother Love Retro. Now, we thought this was going to be part of a four-pack, but it appears that it's going to be a ring set that comes with Brother Love. So it's I, th I think that's awesome. And I think that this and the four pack are going to drop at the same time. All Mattel creations that British Bulldog, Shawn Michaels, Isaac Yankum, and Alundra Blaze four pack are going to, it's going to drop together, which is cool. They did that in the last one. So another way to sell rings, I guess, get money out of that mold. But look at that figure. Look at that Bruce Pritchard, man. That is a great retro. 
That is an awesome retro. I'm really digging this. I, I like this more than the Elite. So very excited for Brother Love. And last but not least of the WWE stuff, we are seeing Superstar Series 12, which is going to have the Heart Foundation. Stoked for that. Uh, Jim the Anvil Neidhart, Brett the Hitman Heart. They look great. I cannot wait to have these. And we're getting Cactus Jack, which is also exciting. He's got the bang, bang hands, great head sculpts. The, these are awesome. I'm very excited. The Brett head, not excellent, but, you know, is, is he ever? It's just, uh, I love the Superstars line, so it's exciting to see stuff like this uh, coming our way. And then we also saw, not WWE, but Stump Wrestling 4-Pack of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is pretty cool. So if you're into turtles and you're into wrestling, this is perfect for you. So a lot of stuff here. Man, 30 minutes on a preview night video. Who would have thought? So comment below. Let me know what you're most excited about. Is it the superstars, the retros, the elites, the ultimates, the basics? What did you see on preview night that you are most excited about? Honestly, I'm still processing everything. I'm not sure exactly what I'm most excited about. I am happy we're getting more Bray Wyatt's. I am happy that we're seeing you know, some new faces here as far as like Justin Hawk Bradshaw. I'm glad that Rhea Ripley is getting an ultimate. It's about time. These ultimate, uh, I'm sorry, elite three packs are very fun and unique as far as everything. So it, I think that the future of the WWE Mattel line, you know, it, it is still has some excitement. I just think we need to back off of how many re-releases we are doing in this line. So Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Twitter is at The Fig Heel. Pick up the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia available now on Amazon.com. Uh, and I'll show you a little commercial for that right now. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heel's Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. Featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands, including independent toy makers. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, including loose, mock, and overall collection value. With shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. So, thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow for day one, officially day one, of San Diego Comic-Con. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.